y'all. My name's Betty. I'm 15 years old, and I live with my mom, Lola. And we have a great life here. Except she beats me every day, and she gives me weird taste in food. But I don't complain or else she hits me with a spoon. And she asks me weird stuff, and if I don't answer correctly, I get beat for about two hours. And... I want a change, so I brought you all here. Hi, my name is Lola. I'm 47 years old, and I have a 15-year-old daughter. Her name is Betty. And I was raped by my husband, and I got pregnant. And when I gave birth, he left me. And when she was born, I hated her. I couldn't grow a connection with her. I started beating her. I have been feeding her under-the-counter products for, oh God, ever since she was born. And she's still kicking. And I just, I can't stop drinking. I use cocaine on a daily basis as well, and I am addicted to heroin. I shoot up <laughs> at least four to six times a day. I just hate my life, and I want Maury to fix it. <laughs> this isn't the Maury show. I don't know where I am right now. <laughs> I'm a little fucked up. So I got a secret to tell my ma. But I need the support from America to help me through this. And all y'all at home. Because I'm just not ready to tell her. Well, I just picked up my supply. My daughter's over at the liquor store getting me alcohol. And you're just okay with this? I've been doing this since I was 20 years old. And I, just, I don't think there's any way out. Do you ever feel the need to just stop? Yeah, when I don't have any and I need some. And I have no money. Then it's like I should stop. But if I do that, I don't know where I'd be. Have you become immune to the pain? Yeah, it happens. <sighs> Betty! Uh -oh. Yeah, Mom? You okay? What happened at the store? Where's my vodka? Well, you see, they kind of uh, caught in me. And then I was forcing them to give it to me, and then it's called the caps. So I couldn't get it. I'm sorry. Please put the needle down. What? What did you just say? I said I couldn't get it. I, I don't have my vodka? No. I'm sorry. Little girl. Hmm? Can you help, Mama? Let me get this straight. Please put the needle down, Mama. You don't have my vodka. No. Mama, put the needle down. What did you say to them? I, I said my mama needs it. And they said, we'll call the cops, you don't get out. And I was scared. What did you say? <laughs> You know what? Since 
Because I'd have to suffer. He no! No! <laughs> Lola, you, this is very much illegal. Illegal? Illegal? I had her for a fucking reason, you dumb shit! I didn't ask for her. Too bad you can't live with your old daddy. Because he's buried under the basement. What? You said he ran away to I Mexico. killed him. And you were gonna hit a I'll kill you too. Uh, so, uh, my my mama shot shot me up with, with heroin, he heroin, hair heroin. Uh, I'm feeling all all, all tingly right now and can't open my eyes. Um. <laughs> I don't feel good. I think I need to sleep. Sometimes she gets under my skin and I just lose control. She's the only person in this whole world besides her daddy that makes me lose control. At night, that little girl makes me cry out to God and Jesus above for help. Because I swear to God, I can't handle her by myself. And I have no help. So when she's out of control and I can't take it anymore, yes, I do inject heroin inside of her arm. And I have no regrets for it. I don't care. It's how it's got to be for her to learn her standard way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, I'm fucked up all the time. But that's who I am. And ain't nobody gonna change that. She's all I have in this world and she can't even get me a bottle of vodka. That fucking bitch. One day she will see eye to eye with me and she will understand that Jesus himself came down and spoke to me. And he told me that that little girl needs to be high and beat all the time in order for her to understand her crimes. I have a little room in the back with candles and Bible studies. And when she's real, real, real bad, I throw her in that room <laughs> and I lock her in. <laughs> and I keep her in there for hours. One time, she sacks me so bad in the grocery store she was only 11 new. She was seven years old. And I told her when we got home, she was gonna ask forgiveness from the Lord above. I threw her in that closet and I left her in there for days. And she sassed me again. My God, I think that's the first time I shot her up with that heroin needle. And I beat her so bad, she was bleeding all over the house. It took her two weeks to clean up all that blood. Oh, Lordy. My, my, my. <laughs> Woo! I feel Jesus in my bones. He's in my heart. He's all around me right now. Do you feel it? Can you feel Jesus? <laughs> He's here. He's speaking to me. He told me that life will be okay. <laughs> oh, shit. I think that's enough. I'm getting ready to tell everyone my secret. I'm just so scared to tell mama. Cause my secret is, I hate mama sometimes. The way she treats me. And I can't stand it. What? Nothing, Mama. Nothing. What did you say? Nothing. I'm sorry, Mama. No, Mama. Mama, get over here Let's now. Go. Let's go. Lola. Lola. No. I'm disciplining my daughter. You get in there. Whoa. You study your Bible, Lily. Mama, no. You study and you ain't coming out till you know. Jesus is on your side, baby girl.
No, Lola, what you... Lola. Sorry, I'm uncomfortable. What you did just there, like locking your daughter in, in, in what is that, the bathroom? No, that's the back closet. Oh, okay. We have candles back there and Bibles, and that's where I keep her. I told you to get punished. Okay, now, the way you. What, what she was doing here, just as you are now, it's private, you know. You don't talk about your mama like that. I don't care what your mama's done to you, what she hasn't done to you. Jesus himself came down from up above and told me how to raise my daughter. So that's what I'm doing. I'm not going to have some 15-year-old slut whore bag tell a cameraman in all of America <laughs> that what I'm doing is wrong. Because then she's telling me and everybody else that Jesus is wrong. Jesus ain't ever wrong. He will never ever be wrong. He gets smacked for that shit. Lola, she wasn't talking about Jesus or- She said, I heard what she said. Don't defend her now. What is she sucking your dick on the side? Cause that's a sin. Ma'am, that's incredibly inappropriate. She was having a private conversation. That's what these moments are for. With America. With a man. America? No. No. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> she must be sucking your dick. And if I find out that my baby girl's sucking your dick, you don't know what's gonna happen to her. I wouldn't take advantage of a very sad 15-year-old girl. You can't take advantage of her. She's a whore. She's a little lying back She's a child. Whore. She's a whore. The real answer is in the Bible. She needs to listen to Joseph, Mary, and James. <laughs> now, do you think God or Jesus would, you know, agree with your... Jesus told me those things. He came down and told me. And he's okay with the drugs and the he shooting up your daughter with to heroin. He me out throughout life. I've been through a lot, and that copes with my stress. It's killing you. God and said And killing it's your okay. daughter. God said it was okay. I listened to my Jesus. And you feel that when you do go and pass away, you're going to heaven? Um, I don't necessarily believe in heaven, nor do I believe in hell. I believe when you die, you go where you want to go. My daughter, however, she's going straight down to somewhere else. She's not going where I'm going, and I'm making that known. <laughs> so you say that we don't go to heaven or hell, we go where we want to go. Yes. Where is it that you want to go? I want to go and fly with the angels. <laughs> where is that, though? You don't believe in heaven. They, they're they around us everywhere, and I want to fly with the angels. So you just want to be everywhere. Yes, God came down and told me that. <laughs>